guilty. I was guilty before proven innocent. Raymond DeLille says he thinks race played a role when Jackson County Sheriff's deputies slapped on cuffs and mistook him for 31-year-old Jacob Gadbury around 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Was he was just so sold on the fact that he had the correct suspect. Deputies say Gadbury crashed straight into this backyard fence during a chase, then barged inside the White City home where DeLille was visiting his mother with his three-year-old son. And I grabbed my son and took off out the back door at the same time as a guy was running in through the front door. DeLille ran around to the front of the house, put his son in the car, then got in himself. That's when a Jackson County Sheriff's deputy detained him. I mean, we don't exactly look alike whatsoever, me and the suspect. I mean, he's Caucasian, I'm African American. But the Jackson County Sheriff's Office says race had nothing to do with DeLille's detainment. The deputy was taking precaution. Lieutenant Marty Clark says all the chaos made it hard to positively ID the suspect. The deputy thought the suspect was a Hispanic male. It moves very fast. And, I mean, you get it, deputies, officers, they're under a lot of adrenaline. Lieutenant Clark says the deputy also thought that the men were wearing similar clothing. But DeLille says there were a lot of differences. While Lieutenant Clark and DeLille disagree on those details, in a situation like this, Clark says they don't take chances. It's not unusual when suspects run from us. They either throw a hat, take clothes off, put clothes on. Lieutenant Clark says DeLille spent about a half hour in cuffs. DeLille's mother thinks it was more than an hour and is upset. Then they said, sorry, but that's it. I mean, it's like they didn't try and call my grandson down, you know. He's three years old. He's dramatized now. When extra deputies arrived, they went into the home and found Gadbury hiding in a bedroom. That's when deputies apologized to DeLille and made the switch. But DeLille says the apology isn't enough. My son, he's going to be forever in fear of police officers. I mean, he's had nightmares. It's going to put fear in his eyes. In White City, Christine Pitawanich, Fox 26 News. Christine, thank you. Raymond DeLille says he hopes deputies pay more attention to descriptions so the right people are cuffed. Meanwhile, Jacob Gadbury is in the Jackson County Jail on a number of charges, including hit and run and eluding an officer.